What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street and I'm playing as my man Cub Swanson going up against Dominic Cruz and Cub Swanson man he, he just sounds like a beast you know his first name some type of animal you know it's a cub it's like a bear's cub and his last name is Swanson and I'm pretty sure like Swan is uh, some type of some type of bird with the ponds and it's not that tough of an animal but that really doesn't matter because Cub Swanson, he, he's like become one of my favorite um, fighters. Either in the featherweight or the fly, I don't know which division he's actually in because they mix them up and I can play with him in the featherweight. So I'm just fighting with him right now against Dominic Cruz. I started off throwing a couple jabs, but um, if you're really looking for somebody to use though, Cub Swanson is the way to go. He's a boxer. And he has some nice kicks for a boxer. He actually has some roundhouses. And you're going to need those. As you can see in this match, my opponent. Basically, everybody really likes to do roundhouses. I don't really do them as much. And sometimes, I think it's good not to do roundhouses the whole fight. Or starting off with the fight. Because when you have them actually hurt. Then you can actually pull off a kick to the head. And you get them to fall down. And you get them out like that. I've won like that a couple of times before. But, um... I just don't throw a lot of roundhouses. I just try to hit him in the body, hit him in the head. See, I threw a kick right there. It's a little axe kick, heel kick to the top of the head or something like that. And I'm really, I'm blocking all his shots right now. And I'm trying to hit him in the body. He, he's parrying. And that's what a lot of the uh, black belt division fighters do. They like to parry a lot. Some people, like later on, they, they just, they pick the worst type of fighters to be backing up and just trying to parry. Like, I face, like, I faced um, Bruce Lee one time. I faced Bruce Lee a while back. And he was just backing up. And he was just trying to parry and trying to take me down. I'm like, are you serious? Like, this is not what Bruce Lee is supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? But you can see, man, I got I got my opponent in back mount. And this is what basically what everybody else does. They just try to hold block. So I went for the submission. <clears throat> I let it go quickly. And it looked like the game restarts right there. But I guess it was just a normal stand-up, but they showed the opening to the fight. Because if you see, look at the time, it has under 1 minute and 20 seconds left. So I guess it was a stand-up. Maybe I took too long to do the submission. But if you are in the back mount and your opponent is just sitting there blocking, all you have to do is just um, uh, try to just attempt the submission and then just move the left stick in all the directions just so you can get out of it quickly. Because it, it's, you know, how you just going to sit there and block? And I can't punch you in the body or nothing like that. It, it's kind of dumb. Oh, hopefully it gets changed out. Hopefully it's a better defensive position. They can add some more transitions to it. Or hopefully people just can figure out that they could just press L, L1 and move the right stick. And they could be out of that. And they have me a half guard. But he didn't know. A lot of people don't know that. But they're close to the end of the round. He's trying to spam for some takedowns to try to, I guess, secure a win for this round. But um, it didn't work. I was blocking all those. Cub Swanson is victorious in that first round, you know. So we coming out second round. Mario Yamasaki pointing at both of us. He hits me with a leg kick. As soon as the round starts in, the leg kick is like a jab in this game. It, it, a jab in real life, it's supposed to stop the opponent's uh, strike. Well, not completely stop it, but it's supposed to throw your opponent's strike off. And that is definitely what a leg kick does in this game. You can use it as a jab if you want. And you see my man, my opponent, he's just backing up, back up twice, throw a leg kick, back up twice, throw a head kick. It was really, really easy to just catch on the way he was doing, which is why I'm just over here. I'm being patient, holding the block, waiting for the leg kick, and he's going to waste his stamina before he does mine because he keeps on doing those step backs and the side steps, and I'm not even throwing punches, you know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting for him to throw. I'm trying to counter, hit him with a couple jabs right there, and I'm really trying to just... I'm not even trying to take him down right now. I, I know that his striking is not very good. And I already know that his his ground game isn't very good after that first um, time we had on the ground in the first round. So here we go. We started swinging a little bit. He stopped backing up. But then, of course, they all back up. <laughs> Usually when they don't back up, I'm losing. But if, if they do back up to the cage, that means I, I, I might have the fight in the bag. It, it didn't I actually got knocked out one time by some... I went for a takedown, they did one of those knees to the body, and it actually caught me in the head, so I, I got knocked out, I just fell down. One of those crazy losses, I wish I would have recorded it, 
But he went for another takedown and I blocked that one. We trying to trying to open up a cut on his face. He's still doing those leg kicks, and that's what I was waiting for. I mean, he does a leg kick, and if you block it, it's very easy just to land a nice, just a solid hook to the head. Even if you're blocking it, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes you can go through the block depending on the stamina. And he has my leg hurt. He went for another takedown. He's stuffing that again. Um, if you do like striking, you're just going to have to know that um, takedowns, they're all about stamina. I hit him again, and we get him locked. He, his stamina is low. He can't take me down if I'm going to block correctly. And he's low. We get him to the ground. I'm in mount. Trying to throw down some hammer fist, but he's holding the block. Now, in this position, I could have did that posture up. The glitch where you can't really block. But you can see we've got his nose broken from one of those hammer fists. Or either one of those punches. So we're just going off right now. He's still trying to get up. And that's not what you want to do. You want to actually use the advanced transitions. And we get the knockout. After he does, it was a quick elbow out of the half guard, man. But nice KO with my man Cub Swanson. So callous tatted on it. <laughs> so callous tatted on his chest. You know, Cub Swanson is a beast. I like his punches. He got some nice kicks. He can obviously break some noses like he did right here. It was a bloody fight, though. He had a cut on both sides of his face, man. I was really messing him up in this fight. But this video, man, it is coming to an end. So always remember, in the street we trust, I'm out.